All right, Frank, we got three big topics kind of lined up here. And to start things off, let's go north of the border where the Canucks and Habs are still searching for a GM. Now that we're in the new year, are you expecting things to heat up in 2022 on both those fronts? Yeah, in a big way, pretty quickly too, certainly from the Vancouver Canucks perspective. Um, and, and frankly, from Montreal as well, you think back to the press conference that Jeff Molson and Jeff Gordon had saying, hey, we'd like to have someone in place after the holidays. Well, as reported earlier this week, they have sought and gotten permission from three teams to speak to Daniel Briere, Roberto Luongo, and Matthew Darsh. The situation is a little bit more murky in terms of exactly who the Vancouver Canucks will be talking to. I believe there are five people on Jim Rutherford's list for that GM opening. One of them, and and I believe the front runner for the job, is Patrick Alvine from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, he worked with Jim Rutherford, of course, in Pittsburgh for a while, uh, developed that rapport and that relationship. Um, and so I, I think he's going to be a candidate that really stands out among the rest. The big holdup there in Vancouver, um, I think Jim Rutherford is anxious and interested to move forward and get someone in this position so he can begin to make tweaks together with that GM in terms of who the Canucks will have in place. But the Aquilini family, the holidays, do we do this on Zoom? Do we do it in person? Certainly this person is going to uh, have to be someone that the Aquilinis are comfortable with as well. So that process is going to unfold, I believe, beginning next week. And I think that we have a general manager hired for both of these positions in Montreal and Vancouver before the end of the month. I wouldn't be surprised to see it shape up here in the next couple of weeks. Always love to see some big news potentially being made. John Chaika is our second topic. He was suspended for conduct detrimental to the league. That suspension is now over, Frank. Does Chaika, will, will he be back in the NHL picture anytime soon? Yeah, you know, it's an interesting question. How quickly, I, I think ultimately John Chaika will end up getting another job in the National Hockey League somewhere some way. Um, I do think that the period that had gone on with the suspension, you know, very quietly ending uh, with the new year starting, um, has sort of put John Chaika back on the radar again. Um, I think the circumstances in which he left Arizona, clearly his side of the story is different than ownership side of the story. And then the suspension that was levied by Commissioner Gary Bettman had sort of taken him out of the picture completely. But I believe that a couple teams with openings have reached out to John Chaika in the last number of days. Uh, you hear Jim Rutherford describe the opening in Vancouver. He said that it's more of an entry level uh, general manager's job. He doesn't seem to be looking at someone that has GM experience on his resume in terms of the five people that he's talking to or scheduled to talk to. But in this case, moving forward, um, I do think that there would be interest in John Chaika to at least explore the conversation uh, with a couple of the other teams that have GM openings. The Chicago Blackhawks would potentially be one, the Anaheim Ducks another, and those two searches are moving at a much slower pace than the ones in Montreal and Vancouver. And quickly, Frank, to wrap up this segment, the Penguins are absolutely rolling right now. Could they potentially be getting Evgeny Malkin back soon as well? Very soon. I'm told it's a matter of days. I would suspect in the next week here that we see Evgeny Malkin back with the Pittsburgh Penguins in game action. He's been practicing with the team for a while. Uh, a couple weeks back, he had the uh, no contact jersey removed. He skated on the second line and practiced today. Keep an eye on the corresponding roster moves that the Penguins would have to make. My guess is they'd probably have to waive a couple guys in order to be cap compliant when they do activate Evgeny Malkin. So uh, keep an eye on the waiver wire or potentially the trade front uh, for the Penguins as they have to activate Malkin. We'll be interesting to keep an eye on. Penguins fans certainly excited to see Malkin back in the lineup. And uh, people who stashed him away in their fantasy hockey leagues also probably a little bit excited about that. This has been another great edition of Icebreakers with Frank Saravalli.